Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, wherever you are on this evil, nasty, and vile planet. I saw yesterday uh, on another YouTube channel that Chick-fil-A has bent over for the alphabet people and is now no longer going to denote, uh, sorry, denote, um, give donations to the Salvation Army and I think two other Christian organizations. I think, there's, I've actually, I think they've actually got more, but Chick-fil-A drops donations that angered those fucking cunts of the LGB groups, i.e. the alphabet fucking bastards, and conservative leaders cry betrayal. You know, it's a real shame that the founder of Chick-fil-A died in 2014. He's got to be. In fact, he will be turning in his grave. So they've capitulated to these fucking bastards. You know, I, I, the, the, the older I get, the more I really am now. I never used to hate people from the, the gay community, but I'm, I'm really starting to really hate them as people. Because when you see more and more of this fucking shit, when you see more and more the reason why... W in the last 10 years, because all the shit that we see now is because of Obama coming into power. He gave those fucking cunts the license to do what they're doing now. These bastards are going to destroy these people. I don't even want to call them people. These fucking degenerates will destroy this society. They are the ones that are going to destroy this society more than anything. Gangsters. Gangs, not these people, won't do it. these fucking bastards will be the ones that will destroy a, the, the society that we have at the moment. And these fucking cunts want a communist society. They want a society where they will take the money from people, uh, you know, intelligent people, innovative people who produce jobs, who produce work for, for people. They want to take this, these job, uh, this, this money from these people and supposedly share it, uh, so-called so Robin Hood style. Oh no, we can't say Robin Hood because Robin Hood was a male. I don't know what they want to fucking call it, call, call them. Um, probably we'll get a transsexual fucking Robin Hood in the future. Whatever. I'm just, I'm so angry. I'm really fucking angry that Chick-fil-A fucking Literally, I bent over and took it up the ass. Because that's what they, you know, that's what they're, they're, they're doing now. They, 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 instead of fighting it and telling them to fuck off, they, that's what they've done. I just don't understand. A business that is flourishing, a business that people really, you know, say this, their meat is quality. They are now going to, go to the same steps as what Kentucky Fried Chicken, McDonald's, and start producing crap and shitty food because it's now down to the bottom line. And it will not be long you will see the fucking alphabet flag on uh, Chick-fil-A's shops. You will see it. You can guarantee that now. I bet you good money that that, that will happen. Let's Let's scroll through this nonsense. Holy fucking sweet shit. It's so annoying, honestly. On Monday, the charitable arm affiliated with Chick-fil-A revealed that it had overhauled its donation strategy and had stopped giving money to several organisations. Donations that had long angered those fucking bastards the alphabet bastards. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously, I'm fuming. I'm really, really angry. It really annoys me when you allow these bastards from the, from the, from this organization to dictate what's going on in the society and everything. I'm going to tell you this now. Everything. If you, 
the, you know, people, the, all these fucking wankers talk about intersectionality. All that comes from, everything stems back to one group of cunts, feminists. Those are the bastards we have to blame for all the fucking shit that we are seeing today. Feminists. Those evil fucking bastards. Those evil fucking harpies. Those are the people we need to blame for the situation we have today. It's true. It's a fact. We're seeing f these fucking lesbianized fucking evil bitches now. I mean, there's, there's a thing in Australia called, it's called Q and A, and on national TV in Australia, you've got this Egyptian fucking cunt who stated that we women are going to start attacking men. Uh, uh, discriminate, uh, you know, indiscriminately in the streets, and she's, uh, you know, advocating violence. I need to read on whether the Australian government is now going to ban her from Australia. The two bitches that were there, I think one of them is Egyptian, the other one I think was Australian. She needs to be questioned. Absolute disgrace. You come on TV advocating violence, and nothing has been done about it. I'm fuming. I'm very, very angry at Chick-fil-A. Very, very angry. The Chick-fil-A Foundation announced in a statement that it plans to concentrate its giving in the areas of education, homelessness, and hunger. But that's what the fucking old, uh, the old Salvation Army was doing that. Anyway, it was doing that. and that it planned to work with a smaller number of charities that it had than it had previously. It plans to reassess its giving annually instead of entering into multi-year arrangements with channel uh, charities, it said. That's fine, you can, that's, that's great, you can do all that, but to drop giving to Christian organisations, which is the basis of the, 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 the foundation of, of Chicks for Lay, is a disgrace. The founder is spinning in his grave as we speak. The group it gives to could include faith-based and non-faith-based uh, charities. In other words, they will be given to the um, uh, alphabet people uh, any time soon. They will be. This is a disgrace. This money should not, no money should be going to those people at all. Nothing, not a penny, not a penny. They are evil, they are vindictive, and they are connected to Satanism. The LGBT community is connected to Satanism, especially the bastard feminists. God almighty. But the bigger news which Organizations would not be getting millions in a Chick fil A money. A representative conf uh, confirmed to the Washington Post that it ceased giving to F Fellowship of Christian Athletes, disgraceful, and the Salvation Army, two religiously affiliated, ch uh, two religiously affiliated charities after multi year commitment ended in 2018. Because you bent over, you've greased your asses, and you took it up the ass from those bastards in the, uh, the, 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 the alphabet people. You bastards. Oh, I'm so angry, honestly. Really, really angry. It's such a shame. The news was immediately agreed with dismay amongst the conservatives. Of course. Who saw the move as a capitulation to protesters who had led boycotts of the family-owned chicken chain beginning in 2012. See, look at the timeline. This has started since 2012. This has started because of that fucking wanker, Obama, gave these bastards the license to do these kind of nonsense. His uh, election is what's caused the fuckery bollocks that we have now. If Bush bit had been uh, uh, still in power, uh, this wouldn't have happened. We wouldn't be seeing this fuckery bollocks. We wouldn't see it. 
He didn't allow it, any of this nonsense. The moment that fucking twat Obama come in, bang! And look what the, the, the fuckery bollocks is, is allowed to, to, to transpire. Former Alaska Governor Mick Huckabee was among those expressing disappointment in the news. In August 2012, I coordinated a national at Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day after they were being bullied by the fucking uh, cunts from the al alphabet people. Millions showed up. Today, Chick-fil-A portrayed loyal customers for dollars. I regret believing that they would stay true to con true to convictions of founder, I can't pronounce his name, uh, the founder of, of Chick-fil-A. Sad, absolutely correct. What a big, big shame. Big, big shame. Well, I, th I think now they don't care if they drop all Christians um, who, who, who now stop. They, they are now going to capitulate to the alphabet people. They've greased their ass up, ready to be butt-fucked by them. Bastards, bastards, and complete, total bastards. Label, uh, others labelled it backsta uh, backstabbing, absolutely a betrayal by a company that has long in uh, infused a Christian ethos. Sorry, espoused a uh, Christian ethos. Uh, our friends from at Chick-fil-A backstabbing the people who made them successful. Absolutely correct. Bastards. According to CNN, oh, Jesus Christ, the uh, FCA states uh, opposition to safe sex marriage on its website and writes in its uh, uh, employee application that neither heterosexual sex outside of marriage or homosexual act constitute an alternative lifestyle uh, acceptable to God. According to Snoops, the Salvation Army also opposes same-sex marriage and has said in the past that the Bible forbids same-sex sexual activity and that gay Christians should be celibate. There's nothing wrong in that. If you are, if you class, if you're a Christian and you are gay, then you should be celibate. It, well, that's if you want to. If you do, if you follow the, 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 the Bible, then, and you know, if you want, that's if you want to. If you don't want to, you've got the choice and do you live the life you want to live. But if you are class yourself as a Christian and you are gay, you should live a celibate life. Plain and simple. However, the Salvation Army rejects the idea that it's anti um, alphabet bastard people and says its services are available to them. Of course, they never, they want, they've served everybody regardless. All they're saying is that you should curb your, if you're a homosexual and you um, practice, you know, uh, um, same sex um, activities, then um, according to, to the Bible, it's seen as wrong. And they're entitled to their opinion, just as I'm entitled to my opinion, um, if I deem it as being wrong or not, not right. It's as simple as that. And people should be allowed to have their opinion. Well, it's not allowed. We'd be allowed. We, sh but that's the problem, because now Chick Fil A is being uh, has been boycotted. I mean, look at the Chick Fil A that's opened in Reading. Then they're going to close that one down when the the the, the license is, is is up. Yeah, I bet you that that Chick Fil A is full every single day. It's full every day. Chick Fil A should just open up as many. Um, of in the UK as possibly can because look if you opened up all the, the Chick Fil A's in the UK, the alphabet bastards would just after a period of time. I'm, I'm sure that they would get tired. They, I, I don't think there was any protests at the Chick Fil A um, in Reading. Now I don't think they're even doing any protests there. I think the one in Canada where they they try to shut it down. Um, I don't think they're there. The first day, the, the bunch of wankers were all there. And then the next day, I think there was one or two of the, the arseholes that turned up. There was still a queue forming around the building and the whole place inside was still full on the second day. So you see, the point is, Chick-fil-A should have just carried on. There, but they don't have the balls. 
They don't just do not have balls. They don't have the balls. And they so they capitulated to Satan. They've, they've allowed Satan, they've given the door to Satan. They've greased themselves up, ready to be poked up the arse by Satan. It's as simple as that. Evil, evil, what a shame. In 2012, Chick-fil-A's donations were already controversial when statements against safe-sex marriages by CEO Dan Cathy sparked nationwide protests, followed by a counter-movement that Huckleby led. Uh, in a radio interview that summer, Cathy said, we are inviting God's judgment on our nation when we shake our fist at him and say, we know better than you as to what constitutes a marriage. And I pray God's mercy on our generation that has such a prideful, arrogant attitude that thinks we have the audacity to redefine what marriage is all about. Why can't you keep to that today? Why can't you keep? So clearly, you are, you're shitting your pants after six years. Is it six years? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah. Um, seven years, six, seven years, uh, you're, why can't you just keep with those values? You're supposed to be a Christian. Follow those values, my man. Stop fucking bending over to the to these bastards from the, the, the alphabet people. After the initial f uh, flap, the company toned down its political profile. Again, bending over to these bastards. Though it continued to give a controversial group's uh, give to controversial groups, according to reports. What controversial? What are you talking about? The Salvation Army? Controversial? How is the Salvation Army controversial? For oh, for how many uh, year, hundreds of years it's been providing for homeless people and feeding people on the streets? What? Can somebody tell me what those fucking bastards, the alphabet people, have done in the last 10 years, 15, 20 years for people living on the streets? What have they actually done? They have done fucking nothing. Seriously. What have they done for, what did they do for people on the streets? Do they go out and feed the people in the streets? Do they go out and provide shelter for these people in the streets? I don't think they have. If they have, show me. Okay. What does Stonewall actually do? What does the, um, uh, is it Higgins, I don't know. What do these gay, lesbian, fucking um, organizations, feminist organizations, what do they fucking provide? Hmm? The first shelters for women in the 70s were set up by a woman named, oh, I can't remember her name, Erin Prizzy, I think her name is. It's a very unusual name. A fantastic, fantastic person who should have received a damehood, but hasn't. I think she's in her 80s now. Still hasn't received anything. Why? The bastard feminist, and she has stated herself that feminism, she is called feminists, terrorists, because that's what they've done in the past. They've terrorized the public and they've terrorized her. She was never a feminist. When I was young, I can remember seeing a, uh, a TV program in the early 70s and in the 80s and through the years. I always thought she was a feminist. She's never been a feminist. She hates feminists. She didn't set up these, these um, shelters for women because she was a feminist. It, in fact, it fell. It's very interesting, her story. Yet she was the first person to set up the shelter, and it was basically by accident. What happened? Over time, once the government started getting involved and she was trying to get the, involved, the government involved in setting up more centres, the bastard feminists got involved and took over the whole of this organization. And now it's, it's a billion dollar business. It really is. She, and she had to leave. She ran from the UK because her life was threatened. She literally, her life was threatened, the children. And even when she went to America, she was found there. And a dog that she had, was brutally killed. That was a dog. They killed the dog 
to prove a point to her. We know where you are. We know who you are. That's how evil and nasty and vile feminists are. So we're at dark times, people. We have to be very careful because the, the, the alphabet people will allow communism in America, in Britain, in uh, Australia to come in wholesale. If we are not careful, Canada as well, especially Canada, if we're not careful, they will allow communism to sneak in and then it will, they, it will just destroy the societies. I think there are people literally uh, that literally want to tear down the American system and because they see that's the only way to change it. They have to tear it down in order to start again. Unbelievable. Um, the Chick-fil-A Chick <laughs> Foundation plans to give nine million in 2020 to Junior Achievement USA, Convent House International, and local food banks. Nine million pounds. It has given more than six million to a long list of charities so far this year. Um, this fucking, probably a lesbian bitch uh, hey, Chick-fil-A, hate is not a family value. So why are you hateful, you fucking slag? You're trying to... Look, and look, look, and look at... I think this is a woman walking past with her... Or stand, no, standing there with her Chick-fil-A. <laughs> just, just look at the amount of people there. Eating their food, going about these... And these fucking bastards would like to round up all these people that are eating, just enjoying their food, and indoctrinate them and force them to be what they're not supposed to be. <sighs> While many conservatives lamented the uh, the foundation's move, the bastards from the uh, LGBT community were not immediately impressed. If Chick-fil-A is serious about their pledge to stop holding hands uh, with diverse anti uh, alphabet people, then further transparency is needed regarding their deep ties to organizations like focused on the family, said a fucking cunt from the uh, director of campaigns uh, and res uh, respond, uh, rapid response for what's that fucking GLAAD in an email statement. See, they are never, never ever satisfied. These fucking bastard cunts are never, ever satisfied. They are bastards. They are demonic twats. Honest to God, they are. Uh, Chick-fil-A, a investors, employees, uh, customers can greet today's announcements with caution, cautious optimism, but should remember that uh, similar press stations were previously proven to be empty. Oh, don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck, you bastards. Uh, here we go. And some saw the decision as an attempt by Chick-fil-A to placate customers in an era on, of the ongoing chicken wars. The Popeye's spicy fried chicken <laughs> became a viral sensation this year. Uh, prompting widespread shortages. When Popeyes uh, brought the sandwich back this month, it did so in a... Don't know what happened there. Um, it did do, It did so on a Sunday, which, which many saw as a slap at rival Chick-fil-A, which is famously closed on Sundays. But so what? I mean, Chick-fil-A has been closed on Sundays for, since... Since it was started, you know, I mean, Chick Fil A consistently has been in the top five um, of a, as a business, but now, unfortunately, rather than doing things slowly, opening, you know, say shops in the UK, in Canada, in France, in Germany, in Italy, just do it slowly, bit by bit, 
You know, I'm sure that uh, whether I don't know if they've opened up in Italy, they could open up one in Italy. It would be popular, you know, in Italy. They've opened one up in France, opened up a few in Italy, gently, slowly, you know, over time. You know, you don't need to open up on Sunday. OK, you don't need to open up on Sunday. But the, I think this is what's going to happen. They will open up on Sunday. You can guarantee they will. So we've got here uh, Charles M. Blow at uh, Popeye's Chicken. Put the squeeze on you with that chicken sandwich. Now you are desperate for more market share. We see you fucking wanker. Charles M. Wanker. Tosser. Fucking dumbass. Tosser. Let's have a look and see see what the comments are. Uh, Chick Fil A has given six million dollars to charities this year. Fine, but Chick Fil A had ten billion in sales. <laughs> well done, Chick Fil A. So, ten billions in sales in two thousand eighteen. Thus, Chick Fil A denoted a not don donated a naught point nine nine six of revenues to charity. Even assuming that profits were only 1 billion, 90% of charity uh, revenues going to operation cost, that means still means, so what? That's some serious Christian corporate gener gener generosity, fucking dumbass. You don't have to give to anything if you don't want to. Nobody's forcing Chick fil A to give money to anybody. Doesn't it doesn't have to, it shouldn't have to. If he doesn't want to, if he does, fine. But now we now the um, alphabet twats are now dictating the narrative. These bastards are getting more and more powerful, and we have to be very careful because we don't know what they are going to try and intend to do in the future. If if they are they get into into motion detected at your front in, door, in, into power and trying to start controlling the narrative. Um, they might try and force everybody to become homosexual um, and anybody who's heterosexual uh, will become a, um, a um, endangered species, perhaps, and could be hunted down. You know, us heterosexuals could be hunted down in the future by these fucking cunts from the, the, the uh, alphabet people. We have to be careful. Why wouldn't these anti-alphabet activists just get a life instead of nosing other people's business? What the fuck are you talking about? Nowadays, it seems conservative is synonymous to manipulate, manip, manipulate, manipulative, manipulative, I will pronounce it, but you get it. Yet they can't even find someone honest to be their president, for God's sakes. What are you talking about, you fuckweed? You go about your business. Nobody's stopping you from being a fucking wanking, cock-pulling twat. Just get on with your fucking business, Eric Wang. Is that Asian? Probably is. <laughs> Here we go. Bigoted Republican hate is not good for business. But I suppose Ku Klux Klan, Democrats hate, is good for business. The Ku Klux Klan was a, a member of the Democratic Party in America, wasn't it? Mm. Strange. And other shareholders know that. You, so, you see, they are trying so hard now to make conservatism or anyone who's a conservative as a demon, when they are the demons, they are the evil ones, they are the fascists, the modern day fascists. The Ku Klux Klan were not members of the Republican Party, they were members of the Democratic Party. The Ku Klux Klan. This is what people need to remember. It was the conservative Republicans that fought for slavery against the Ku Klux Klan. The Democratic Party was complicit in slavery. 
People need to read the history. The Democratic Party is trying to bury that. So you want to call all Republicans big, uh, as bigoted. I will class all Democrats as bigoted. We are seeing racism 2.0 in a sophisticated way in which the white liberals, especially white females, are stating, we know what's best for you as nignogs, black bastards, Mexican spinks, and the chinks. We know what's best for you. Leave it to us. We are the ones with the brains. You are not. We will do everything and you will be grateful to us for it. That is what the Democratic Party is. In itself is a racist party. Uh, so he, this, this asshole says, you can, you can get a good chicken sandwich without the hate. And most of, of, most of pre prefer to do without it. Well, listen, if these chicken sandwiches have got hate in them, they seem to be fucking tasty. $10 billion. Ten billion, they made $10 billion. I mean, if that hate is, 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 is in the sandwich and they love it that much, whew, then it would be silly to take the hate out, wouldn't it? Leave the fucking hate in the sandwich. Because clearly it tastes fantastic. Fucking dumb asses. Agree. But that corporation is privately held by the one who has made all the hate speech <laughs> and who financed anti-gay hate votes in, 20, uh, in the 2000s with pre-tax corporate profits. <laughs> and there we have the... Is that the guy? Fucking bearded fucking bear. Gay bear. Fucking ponce. Anything done that Mike Huckleby does not like cannot be all that bad he he and his evil seed daughter form the basis of their own hate group and that is no lie <sighs> let's move on uh these those crazy bible thumpers are drying out one more generation and they will be irrelevant <clears throat> Oh, here we go. Here's the arsehole again. I'm not going to read. Fuck off. <clears throat> My wife and daughter describe themselves as Christian and even attend church occasionally. But for them, Christianity is really more of a thripanthropic social club than it is a religious organization. Philanthropic. I hate that word. And there's that fucking... There's this fucking twat here. keeps jumping in. So here's a probably a, a lesbian feminist. I abhor Chick-fil-A's change of heart. I found the info about the Salvation Army very troubling, though. I know that they are, they are basically religiously managed, but they don't know that... But didn't know that they are anti sexual freedom <clears throat> when i was a kid my dad would n never pass a salvation bucket without dropping a buck even when passing the same bucket on the way in and out of a store dad was a detroit fire fighter for nearly 40 years and whenever they had a fire in a bad weather sa would always <clears throat> send out a truck with gloves and hot chocolate for the uh, firefighters. I've continued Dax's practice, but now I am questioning the wisdom of their acts beyond kindness to first responders. Fuck off. Fuck off. You dumb fucking bitch. Fuck off. Uh, <clears throat> the Holy Rollers neutral support bigotry. Oh, natural support. I think that's naturally support bigotry. Well, that must include me. It's pleasing to see that G-A-W-O-O-O-D-A and the Holy by Bill are sacred 
until they are f they are threatened the bottom line, cracker hypocrites, blah blah blah. I respect Chief Soleil's decision to stop giving money to controversial git organizations. Christian values should be first and foremost. Be above. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I'm done. Seriously. Um. What this, this, let me read this. I never ate at this place, just like I do not shop at Hobby Lobby. What's Hobby Lobby? Why would I support an organization? Oh, that is anti, uh, anti LG, al anti alphabet people or racist. It is, n it is not so much because I am that, which is the alphabet person, supporting hatred and prejudice against any group of people, against, goes against my firm non-religious belief and my own morals. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> okay, oh, this is... I should tell the two Alphabet employees at my local Chick-fil-A, at my local Chick-fil-A is anti-Alphabet. This fake black and white world people have concocted to help make their opinions easier doesn't reflect the reality that al allows for nuance. So you, <laughs> so here's, this is absolutely correct. I should tell the two, so that you've got gay people working at Chick-fil-A. And I bet you those people who are working there will have been working in an environment that works its way to make sure that everybody's looked after in a nice way and everybody, whether they're black, white, blind, disabled, whatever it is, gay, straight, and yet they want this company to be false and not to be true to its beliefs. That's the problem. So if a company gives to the alphabet people millions of pounds, it's seen as good. But if a company gives to a Christian organizations or Christian organizations millions of pounds, they're seen as bad. So you're going to see in a not too distant future, any company that gives one cobble, one cent, one penny to any Christian organization will be seen as a hateful company. That's how evil, this is how, this is how e the evil, the Satan has got into today's society. Satan is succeeding and he will, which is not surprising, let it, let it happen. Let this world be destroyed. Let the cycle begin again. Let, uh, let this earth go back to what it was. Let the surface of this earth be destroyed because the, the whole planet itself ain't going to destroy it. It'll, it'll be here for another 4 billion years. It's just the top surface let it scrub the top surface again and start again. Because it's become contaminated now to such a degree, it's just fucking shit and worthless. We see anecdotes about their having LGP employees, but no evidence. We do have evidence about their treatment of Muslim Americans. The company's Christian uh, culture and its strict hiring practices, which require potential operators to discuss their marital status uh, and civic and church involvement, have attracted controversy before, including a 2002 lawsuit brought by a Muslim restaurant owner in Houston who said he was fired because he did not pray to Jesus with other employees at a training session. The suit was settled. Well, that's, it, who, who's surprised? You know, the Muslims uh, are, 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 you know, are looking to destroy America. This is the part of their tactics to destroy this uh, America, which was great. It's not anymore. This was great. Uh, Rocky the Flying Squirrel. Right. 
because fundamentalist Christians who insist that anyone must be subject under American law of custom to the dictates of the their literous interpret uh, interpretation of scripture, you know, the God said it, I believe it, that settles it, bumper sticker, are so into nuance. P.S. Tell the two employees at your local Chick-fil-A that Junith is here, glory, glory, hallelujah, and they don't have to shirk and jive for their hetero supremacist bosses no more no more there are plenty of other jobs for which they can apply that don't require them to deny their own humanity not that you care fuck off wanker oh here we go there's this arsehole again he's back in um again i'm not going to read him because he's a tosser <clears throat> oh god he's all the way through anyway i've said my bit um, I think it's a real, real shame that Chick-fil-A, they haven't just bent the knee. They've bent over, greased themselves up, and the LGP, uh, the alphabet people are enjoying their bumming. I really, I've really grown to dislike now, in the last few years, the, the, the alphabet people. I really have. And... Um, they, they are the ones that are going to destroy society, certainly in America and Britain and Australia. Russia doesn't allow this kind of nonsense. Big up to Russia. I think China doesn't allow this kind of nonsense. Big up to China. You know, these are the big beasts of this planet. Anyway, I've said my bit. Shame on you, Chick-fil-A. Shame on you. Good day. Oh, and don't forget... The devil is always laughing the hardest. <laughs> Good day.